Welcome to KPK Gemstones Club on YouTube. Green sapphires can vary dramatically in hue, tone and saturation, from a very light green to an extremely dark, rich color. We've covered this in more detail below, in our section on the color of a green sapphire. You can find green sapphires in a number of locations around the world. Today, green sapphires are mined in nations such as Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Cambodia, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Australia and Brazil. Green sapphires are also mined in Montana, usually near the upper Missouri River. Like all gemstones, green sapphire has its own meaning and history. It's known as the stone of tranquility and is associated with characteristics such as trust, loyalty and integrity. People often think of green sapphire jewelry as encouraging thoughtfulness, calmness, love and rest. Most of our engagement ring guides focus on the process of buying a diamond, with a focus on the four C's. However, buying a green sapphire, or any type of sapphire, for that matter, is a different process that requires a different approach. While a diamond is valued for its brilliance, the main factor that affects a sapphire's beauty and value is its color. Although the clarity and cut of a sapphire are still important, they're less important than they are for a diamond. Instead, it's best to focus on choosing a green sapphire with the best color and a suitable carat weight, all while suiting your budget. Hue is a sapphire's color as it compares to its neighbors on the color wheel. For example, with a green sapphire, there could be hints of blue and yellow that affect the overall appearance of the stone. Because of this, the color of a green sapphire is usually called either pure green, blue green or yellow green. A sapphire's tone is a description of the lightness or darkness of the stone's overall color. Green sapphires can range from a very light green to a deep, dark green. For the most part, it's best to choose a stone that's somewhere in the medium range in terms of tone. Lighter stones can look washed out and less impressive, Whereas with a darker stone it's often difficult to accurately view and appreciate its color with the naked eye. A sapphire's saturation refers to the vibrancy and vividness of its color. Green sapphires usually have fairly low saturation, which is why they're often referred to as olive or khaki in color. It's uncommon to find a green sapphire with vivid, highly saturated green coloration. Like sapphires in other colors, green sapphires usually contain long, thin inclusions called rutile needles. These are referred to as silk and are a common type of inclusion in sapphires of any color. It's extremely rare to find a sapphire without these inclusions. Today, the vast majority of green sapphires are heat-treated for improved clarity, meaning these inclusions rarely have any large impact on the overall appearance of the stone.
With a diamond, a gemologist will use 10x magnification to carefully inspect the stone for any imperfections. With a sapphire, it's more important for the stone to simply be eye clean, with no obvious inclusions that can be seen with the naked eye. Unlike diamonds, which have standardized cuts designed to measure a stone's level of color and fire, there's no standardized system for assessing how well a sapphire is cut to showcase its beauty. To look its best, a green sapphire should have a symmetrical cut that reflects light at the correct angles to display the gemstone's beauty. Finished sapphires often have a much deeper cut than diamonds and other gemstones. When it comes to shape, there's no best option for a green sapphire. Like other sapphires, the most popular shapes for green sapphires are oval, round and cushion. It's also quite common to see green sapphires in the pair, emerald and princess cuts. 